Hey everybody, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Master Reboot. Master Reboot is a first-person surreal exploration game where you explore worlds of people's minds who have been uploaded to the cloud before they died, while piecing together the puzzle of whose mind you're in and what happened in their past. So, in the future, we must upload our brains to the cloud. But it seems getting to the cloud is not so simple. Yeah. So we apparently can't drown ourselves in this. Cybernetic world. I wonder if I should think of this as a dream? Or should I think of this like a Tron simulation world? Show me your answers, Spear Cube. Some kind of forest. Looks like a fire came through here. No, just torches. So the spear cube took me to a forest, which I assume is someone else's mindscape. Interesting. This is kind of, I guess, this game's version of the tutorial level. Nice forest, though. Reminds me a bit of Shadow of Colossus and some of its forests. Crows crowing overhead. Light shining through the trees. Pretty nice. Even if it's a bit not detailed. Almost cell shaded like. Random monolith overturned in the forest. I don't think monoliths grow in forests naturally, but you know. Axe. I didn't think there would be any combat in this game, but maybe I used to chop down the trees. Or try chop down these, yeah. Chopping down the uh, cyber trees. Look at that. Wow. Can I make angled cuts? No, it's just kinda... Yeah, I see. Let's see if this leads to the same path real quick. This might be a shortcut in comparison to the other one. It's like I'm playing a woodcutting simulator. Perhaps it was this person's last wish.
When I die, I want to be able to chop wood for all eternity. Found in the golden duck. The duck gods are pleased. I am ferocious. I'll show you no mercy. Fragment of someone's mind. Now those mine carts. Maybe this area is really not supposed to be a peaceful forest area, per se. Perhaps it's a forest being developed. Like you've got the axe, you're chopping down trees, you're clearing out the forest, and now you're bringing in the carts to ship out uh, what I assume would be charcoal, maybe. This is nice. Please, ducky symbol. The offering to the ducky gods is complete. Well, I thought we'd be going back to the beach, but apparently we're in a new world. Gray Cube Land. Actually, no, no, we're uh, we're in City Seventeen. Ooh, this looks familiar. Oh no. It's a three hour, actually no, I think the longest, a four hour long doctor's appointment. Videotape. Welcome to the Mystery Foundation. As a new employee, you are now a part of our ever growing family family that provides 2 million users with entertainment, comfort, and happiness every day. A family voted number one in Decade Magazine's most influential companies of all time. A family committed to bringing people together. But what does mystery actually do? We are proud to introduce to you the Soul Cloud. Users upload their memories together with vital personality statistics and traits to our dedicated servers, where our industry-leading engineers sculpt this information into digital cities, towns and gardens. Upon the user's expiration, a digital soul is created which can relive these memories again and again. What's more, the deceased's family and friends can visit their soul whenever they like, making death a thing of the past. But where do you come in? As part of the Soul Cloud's maintenance staff, you'll be working together with Seren, the cloud's innovative security system, to do whatever it takes to ensure the smooth running of the system, from recovering vital data to walking Mrs. Smith's digital dog. 
As a Mystery Foundation employee, you are now a part of our family. Together we can make the impossible possible. Sarah Kerrigan? Uh oh. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea if you can even be hurt or die in this game. Should I have avoided it? I don't know. Intrusion attempt detected. Oh shit. Initiates in quarantine. This is that stupid hallway from damn Resident Evil. Oh shit! Oh, 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 no, 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 no. They don't make digital grass like they used to. Hello, I'm checking in. I'm uh, stuck in the cloud. There's about, you know, there's like people uploaded to this thing and it's kind of freaking me out. Ooh, blue ducky. Handbook for new employees. What are these ducks? Ducks contain messages from residents. So, Cloudians, family and friends, which have been sent from the world of the living. These messages are personal, and employees are reminded that they should not be accessed, unless they feel that the message contains dangerous material, such as viruses, explicit images, or inappropriate information that may upset the relevant resident. A simple guide to cubes. Blue. Teleports to another part of the current memory. White. Pure memory container. Green. Return to resident soul village. Red. Maintenance cube. Allows interaction with current memory. Our staff is currently unavailable, blah blah blah. Feel free to enter the soul cloud. Make sure you don't enter that big cloud of PS3 saves. Very bad. Yeah, now we're now we're fully drawn. Actually, it reminds me it's like a mix of Tron and some of those old not really that old, I guess they're old now. Animated movies. Those ones where it was like a, at, like a, uh, I forgot its name. Childhood memory. But I believe uh, they had like human actors mixed in, almost like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and they had like funky towns like this. School memory. Park memory. There's a hub level. This is where we choose the memories like Mega Man style. I guess it's a little bit linear. Fairground memory. No. Nope. Beach memory. Hospital no. Let's. Hmm. Okay. Master Cube has spoken.
This cube has been damaged. Alright, I think now we have a choice of where we can go. So let's take a look here. The childhood memory seems a bit interesting. Let's try that. And by interesting, I mean probably traumatic. Ooh, no. I don't like you. You're... I don't like dolls like that. Just the way it's positioned in the room is creeping me out. Join us! He wants me to say. Red cube. That's interesting. Uh oh, I see. That's the warp back. Okay. Alright. I get this. Three locks. Ooh, ducky. Now, if you only attend, kitty, and not talk so much, I'll tell you all my ideas about Looking Glass House. First, there's a room you can see for the glass. That's just the same as our drawing room. Only the things go the other way. I can see all of it when I get up upon a chair. All but the bit behind the fireplace. Oh, I do so wish I could see that bit. I want so much to know whether there's a fire in the winter. You can never tell. You know, unless our fire smokes. And then smoke comes up in that room too. But that may be only pretense, just to make it look as if they had a fire. Well then, the books are something like our books. Only the words go the wrong way. I know that, because I've held up one of our books to the glass and then they hold up one in the other room. Oh, kitty, how nice it would be if we could only get through into the looking glass house. I'm sure it's got, oh, such beautiful things in it. Let's pretend there's a way of getting through into it. Somehow, kitty, let's pretend the glass has got all soft like gauze so that we can get through. Why, it's turning into some sort of mist now. I declare, it'll be easy enough to get through. She was up in the chimney piece while she said this, though she hardly knew how she had got there. And certainly the glass was beginning to melt away, just like a bright silvery mist. Oh, kitty. Through the looking glass we go. Oh my god, I've... I've shrunk, and this doll is... Not any less freakier. I suppose we're searching for keys. Feels a bit like a uh, old platformer game. Ooh, cubes. I'll come back to you later. Mr. Teddy? Mr. Kitty? I see once again you are enjoying yourself at the... under the... under the bed nightclub. Hard day of work again, I see. Yes, yes, quite. Yeah, my life hasn't changed much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I must be going, Mr. Kitty. I hope your wife is doing quite better. And to you, Mr. Teddy. Uh, I still owe you that money, but I will get to that to you very soon. Oh. Thank you, my dear. Someone got into the, uh, that, uh, glow glue. 
There's gotta be something that tells me what symbols I need to match up there. Perhaps it's in here. Okay, green eye. Alright, now we need the blue and red cube. Oh, what the fuck? Something's wrong. Am I being stalked by something? Ooh, blue ducky. Whee! Oh. Alright. Doll? Angelina Small House. Warning, dangerous levels of awesomeness. Remember to take a break every four hours. Oh, it's being sucked out. What the fuck? I wasn't expecting that. I thought this kick was nice and peaceful. I've been... I've been... I've been messed with. Well, I haven't seen any more cubes. We form a complete circle of creation and destruction. There's something wrong. Like like those things. What the hell are those? Ooh, check in the box. Can't turn it. Ah, uh, pretty. Something's not right here. Something's not right here at all. Hell yeah. Let's go in the uh, dark area now. Nothing will go wrong. Nothing will go wrong. Just stick to the path. Yippity doo da, yippity day. Why oh why, a wonderful day. Just two more keys. Nothing can go wrong. I have no idea what that is. Is it. Is it moving? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't like it. It's. It's a corrupted teddy bear. Corrupted teddy bear. Programming made easy. I think I just died. That's even possible. Well, we know not to trust the corrupted teddy bears. Not to trust them at all. That's me breathing, right? I think so. Are you still? Yes, you are. Okay. 
Well, we know if we see one of those in a dead end, we do not go into it. Ducky. Dear Ms. Jones, thank you for your interest in Hale Studios. We are glad you enjoyed our recent Angelina Small House release, and your feedback will be passed on to our development team. We do not currently conduct studio tours at our Cardiff offices because of security reasons, but we do offer summer internships and work experience placements for university students and graduates. We will be happy to consider an application from you once you've started a relevant course from one of our recommended universities. I feel like this is a maze of getting screwed. Go down one wrong turn. Ah, the prize. They've shut it off. I saw that... Sh I saw like a shadow of a person over there when they got shut off. You know, I don't think this music is supposed to be that nice anymore now. Well, anyway, let's find our last key. Where, where are you? Ducky. <laughs> I had to make sure we didn't have a repeat of last time. That was not something I want to see again. Oh, thank you, Jack in the Box. Oh, this really is like a platformer. Ah uh, yes, the final key. But first, the ducky. Let's see, some chat log. I tried changing a bit, but I didn't do anything. I don't know why, it's not working. You only have to check through it. Just copy and paste it into a word processor and I'll have a look. Really? That would be awesome. No worries, I'm sure you're just missing a bracket somewhere. Astrid Awesome Game Progress What's that say? Alice through the looking glass. Hmm. All right, we got all the keys. Let's bail. Is this the same world? This can't be right. This is a street. Oh my god, it's a giant teddy bear. Uh-oh. Do you fear death? God, stop clicking pop-ups! Be fearful, show no mercy. problem. Just like Ghostbusters. Jesus Christ. Alright. Close shut these gates.
that clears the childhood memory. I don't remember this teddy bear was here before. I don't think so. Yeah, it seems like there's things from that world now kind of infecting this one. Flying memory. Fairground. Peach. Hospital. I think hospital would be the last one. If you want to go a little bit of an order. Graveyard. Library. It seems like if these are all the same person, I can't remember. What's this? Alright, I can sort for the duckies. Um, I can't tell if it's the same guy we saw in the opening. Perhaps this is the life of his relationship, his girlfriend maybe? Not quite sure. But I guess from the childhood she became a programmer of some kind. Making some kind of Tomb Raider-esque game. Street memory, school memory, okay. And that's it for Master Reboot. Part 1. So, we're uploading our brain to the cloud. I don't know if we're exactly dead yet, or if we've uploaded ourselves to the cloud too, for some specific reason. Um, if we're going for a very specific person's memories, perhaps like I said, a girlfriend, a sister, I don't know, then there could be like a reason, like maybe we're trying to dig up their memories, maybe they're not even dead yet in the real world, I don't know. It's really quite too early to tell. But so far, a very cool game. I'm quite looking forward to the rest of it. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for part two of Master Reboot.